Welcome to a how-to video for SAP Business One for how to perform year-end closing. Now, first thing we're going to go to here is we're going to go to posting periods. Um, in the menu here, that's found under administration, system initialization, and posting periods. So what I'm going to open up here is my posting periods. Now, as you can see, here are my previous years. And you can also see, too, that my year is currently 2022, and I do not have 2023 yet. So one of the things I'm going to want to do is create a new period here. So once we have posting periods open, we're going to click New Period. We're going to put in our period code. So we're going to use 2023. We're going to repeat that for the name, 2023. Our sub-periods for this one, we're going to use months. So we're going to use 12 months here, fiscal year 2023. And they're all going to come in as a period status of unlocked. So we're going to hit Add. That is going to add in all of our new year here. Now, the important thing before we run our period and close is the year for 2022, we want to make sure that this period status here is in closing period. Now, the majority of these in 2022 are in closing period already, but let's say they're in the unlocked status. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to click on the little golden drill down arrow to bring up the specific posting period, and we're going to change this to closing period. So it looks like I have three here that I want to do. So we're going to put these in closing period, and now we're ready to go with our period end closing. Uh, now, after we do our period end closing, we are going to come back here, and we're going to lock these statuses up here um, um, so that they can, not, uh, can no longer be used. Uh, so the next thing we do is we're going to go to period end closing here, and now that's found under administration, utilities, period end closing, and it's going to bring up this period end closing um, module here. So I have my period here as 2022. My retained earnings account, I want to make sure that I have that identified and I already have it here. And we want to put in our from and our to. So we're going to do the whole year here for start of the period and end of the period. So we're going to do all of 2022. So we're going to click Execute here, and it's going to bring up our period end closing. Now some things that are important here are the due date. So we're going to put our due date in here. We're going to put this as the last day in, of the period here. And let's say our document date, same thing. We'll put that as the last day there. Um, and our balances uh, are all below here. And we can come through and click individual ones. Or if you'd like, and if this is a long list, you can click on the column header here, and it's going to highlight all of them. Now, last thing I'm going to do it, before I uh, submit this, if you want, you can put in some remarks here. Um, what I'm going to do is just change this for, for closing period 2022. And then I'm going to hit Execute. And it is going to go through here, and it's going to remove those out and put them in retained earnings. Now, the last thing that we want to do is we're going to uh, exit out of here. We're going to come back to our posting periods. and I won't do all of these, but just to show you, I'm going to come through 1 2022, open this up, and we're going to lock all these. And so I would come through and do each one of these one by one, and that will complete the period uh, end closing here. Thank you for watching this video. As always, please reach out to us here at Support One with any questions. Click on the link to subscribe for more content.